solution here? <laughs> All right, so here's, here's my solution. Uh, so download, here's the, the open and the method to call on that open file object is get projection ref. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I saw some people looking at this uh, get projection ref. So that's some, some metadata about the file that's embedded in this, in this uh, TIFF file. I'll close this for now. Uh, and here it is. This is, this is the, the metadata telling you about this. So, so I asked, what, what projection is this in? So there's a lot of information there, but the, the important part is here it's UTM. It's Universal Transverse Mercator Projection. Um, so that's a mer Mercator projection, but it's centered on the meridians. And there are zones around the world for, for choosing which meridian you are. Uh, so, so Transverse Mercator is a pretty good um, projection for, for bands along lines of uh, longitude or near lines of longitude. And it's fairly commonly used. Right, and there you can see 1983 datum, EPSG 7919, uh, uh, there are some other ones that might be different units, and, and so on. Yeah. The well yeah, this is, this would be, <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I've, so I've written really cheesy parsers for Oh yeah. Yeah, there are there are definitely parsers out there. So a lot of I don't know where the standard ones are. Doesn't Proj, Proj does it? I think, doesn't it? Am I wrong? I, I could be wrong about that. Um, so I know uh, I know PostGIS does it. I'm just not sure whether they have their own parser or they use another library. Um, but there are there are definitely tools that can that, like like from WKT and things like that. Um, yeah, there there are a lot of tools that. Yeah. What's it? Oh, G deltas. Okay, yeah, I, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know if PostGIS is using G uh, uh parser, but yeah, there's they're definitely out there. Yeah. 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 Just don't just just figure out a way to cache that information. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so in this case, we're just talking about projection information, so you're, you're not going to have lots of those, but you can also encode points and lines and things in, in well-known text, and if you're, if you're iterating over those kinds of parsers, then yeah, you're, you're right, you've got to worry about those kinds of things, yeah. Okay, uh, so then, um, then I loaded it into, let's see, into a, a NumPy array, right? Um, Here's the array is geo.read as array. That's just the same as we did. Uh, but what is this arr.shape? All right, so this is, this is the NumPy array. It's dimension 4 by 5205 by 5757. Right, so that was, that's the dimension of there. So obviously the four, the first dimension there, is the, the bands. Uh, so those are red, green, blue, and infrared. Uh, and then we've got the, the uh, X and Y, um, easting and northing uh, coordinates. So you said the order was red, green, blue in the file? Yes, that's right. So, so if you, if you, you could set it to, if you wanted to pull out individual bands, I could say, say red equals uh, array zero, and then all rows and columns there. So, so that, that's how I would assign the red band into uh, a two-dimensional a two array, for example. That's not how I did it in the, in the plotting. Uh, I'll show you how I did it here. Um, what I did is, is um, just in one, this is, this is the line here. I probably should have split this out to make it a little clearer. Uh, but here I, I do in the first dimension, colon three, 
So the first three uh, values in that, um, in that dimension, so that'll be red, green, blue, and then all rows and columns. And then I transpose the axes so that we, we change, um, let's see, we change that dimension to the third dimension because image, um, the IM show is expecting the, the third dimension to be colors and not the first dimension. Otherwise, you'll get a, a four by, you know, 5,000 image with 5,000 deep, you know, and, and that it doesn't know how to do that. Um, so, so, so it's like a, yeah, right. So that's, that's a roll axis, right? That's, okay. uh, that's the same. I think transpose, I'm just yeah. thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is transposing axes, right? Yeah. I use swap axes, but I have to Yeah, yeah, it's right. You could just swap axis twice or you know, roll axis once, I think. So, yeah, there are other ways to do that manipulation in NumPy. Or you could, you could assign out the, the red, green, and blue values like this and, and, then, and then stack them. And th these would all be references, so you probably wouldn't be allocating um, lots of a memory so that... Oh yeah, yeah. Individually and then that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, NumPy is really convenient that way. You can get references on any of those once you've read the whole thing, as long as you know how to refer to them. You know which ones are which. Um, so it's nice to have it in one chunk in memory and then just have references to it. Okay, and then the other thing I do here. This is a little bit of. This is a little bit of magic. Um, uh, how did I get these extents that, that get geotransform? So I set, I just assigned that into um, a variable trans here, and this is just a tuple with six numbers, and that, that came from geo get, uh, get, sorry, get geotransform, and it's a, not an attribute, it's a method call. And those coordinates now are, this is minimum x, um, x step, y step for, these are, these are like shear um, coordinates and those are zero because it's orthogonal and, and then y and y step. So you have to multiply these by the size and you can get those, the x size and y, y size of the raster. You could do that from the NumPy array as well, but here I'm, I'm getting it from the attribute on the on the GDAL object. So geo get ras uh, geo dot raster x size, and that is an attribute, not a method call. And then y size, right? So those are the dimensions, and you can see those are the same as the array that we've got here, All right? Uh, only, this one can only do linear, I believe. There are warps that do nonlinear transformations, right? Uh, I, th I think that's right. Because, th yeah, these are, these are, this is an affine transformation here. Okay, and then, so I used that and, and I generated just the extent out of all of that. This is, this is now back to west, east, south, north, or, or rather, easting uh, min and max and, and northing min and max in map coordinates. And now those are UTM meters. Uh, and, and so those are the, the map extent that I, that I actually am using. And I take a look at, at what that looks like on my map again here. Okay, so now with, that, with the extent on the... I am show command did is actually label these correctly. You can see this is uh, this exponent is added. This is actually just the way that a lot of UTM maps are done uh, is to put a little addition like that. So that's a nice nice scale that that um, Matplotlib is doing for you there. Uh, so you can see now these are um, a thousand meters, right? So so these labels, these tick marks are a thousand meters apart. So that's one one kilometer in um, in these projected coordinates, right? Uh, in UTM. So you can see now, uh, this is Matplotlib, so this is interactive, and so we've got our own little Google Maps uh, tool that we can now look around New York and, 
And this is public domain data, so you know you could build your own uh, Google Maps clone out of all of this data if you could download it all and store it all and serve it to as many people as Google do. So, you know, go ahead. <laughs> no, but it works fine for this scale, right? Um, this is just that one, you know, 5,000 some by 5,000 image, and we're looking at that that snapshot, and and there it is. All right, did anyone actually plot points on this? Anybody get to that part? Okay, well, we'll, we'll uh, do some more with, with points in a bit. Sorry, your question? So how would you do that with uh, base map? Yeah, so, so base map, you'd have, to, uh, you'd have to set the base map to the right coordinates and, and project it on there, right? So you, um, you'd have to use this coordinate transformation uh, you would define it. Well, actually, base map doesn't do arbitrary UTMs, does it? Um, uh, it, it does now. It oh, it does now, yeah. Brand new feature. Right. So you, so you just use this proj, uh, PyProj to do the uh, they, general projection? Yeah, exactly yeah. how. They, yeah. It did something where you can now start specifying some of those. Like, I remember right. Yeah, so in, in, the, in the production version that I've got, you, know, you can't do arbitrary ones, but um, yeah, so you wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so in this case, the easiest thing to do um, would be to project other things to this UTM projection and, and plot it on here. Um, okay, other questions on, on this exercise? What do you get? Yeah. Can you explain the get projection wrap one more time, specifically with the, with the six? How do you do the people bar? Oh, okay, that was the get geotransform. Okay, so that's, that's the get, get geotransform. Um, uh, let's see. What, they are the this is w this is the x coordinate of the lower left in in uh, map units. Um, oh, sorry, that's the extent, but but there, this one is the lower left. This is the the uh, delta x, and this is delta y for each x step. Right, and that's zero because it's orthogonal. Uh, and then here's the the y coordinate of the lower left, and the delta x for each y step is zero, and then the delta y, and that's why is that negative? Uh, it's negative. So, UTM's positive up, isn't it? To think about that, it's not obvious to me. Is that, but oh, but the way the, ah the 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 row ordering of the tiff, All right? Okay, yeah, yep. But I think it's okay. like in the tiff world file, I think it's almost always the y dimension is always negative. Yeah, right. And and you can see the the extent does that as well. So so I've got the the extent the y extent. Um, is no no that's that's less than that no that's right yeah no it, it lines up with the I am show order so so it, so it's working right so it's showing the same thing yeah just uh, look on Wikipedia for a world file has a pretty nice oh okay world file okay all right thanks all right. Yeah, world file. Oh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. So there's there's the parameters. All right, so that's that's the that's the description that we just talked about. Okay, uh, here we're going to take a break. Uh, how long? Fifteen? Something like that? Yeah. What's it? Twenty? Okay. Okay. So let's let's say it's a, it's five to three now. Let's let's come back at three fifteen and and resume. Okay. Thanks.